What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again. Today we're going to take a quick look at Pop! OS from System76 and then I'm going to show you how to install it on your laptop or desktop. This will work on older hardware, it'll work on newer hardware. This here is a very low end laptop that I bought on Black Friday 2018 for $120. Very low end, 2 gigs of RAM, non-user replaceable, with a dual core Intel N4000. Now one of the big reasons I'm making this video is because for the past three weeks I've been running it on this laptop here and I've kind of fallen in love with the operating system itself. It's a very unified and beautiful distro. This is great for beginners or power users alike. There are some main differences here that System76 is integrated into Pop! OS versus Ubuntu. Some of the more notable features listed on their website are simple recovery. You can reinstall the operating system without downloading or writing to a flash drive on UEFI systems. It has do not disturb mode built in, power profile picker in the user menu. You can easily toggle between maximum balance and battery. NVIDIA Optimus is built into the user menu for switching between NVIDIA performance or long battery life with your integrated Intel graphics. They've also customized all the keyboard hotkeys and shortcuts for the GNOME desktop. I'll leave a link to their website. They have a full ledger that tells you exactly what does what, but overall it's really easy to get the hang of it. And as for those power profiles I was talking about, they actually work really well. I have this little laptop set to balanced, and even with Windows it got pretty good battery life but I haven't charged this in three days. That doesn't mean I've been using this every single minute for three days. I use it for about an hour to three hours every single night, and for three days I haven't had to charge it. I'm sitting around 60% battery life on this thing. I've actually only shut down the system one time since I installed Pop! OS. It just stays on, I shut the lid, and let it go. And because I know my main viewers are going to ask, yes, you can install RetroPie x86 in Pop! OS, and it works really well. Another thing I really like about Pop! OS is the Pop! Shop. You can just go right in here and install third-party applications to get all your updates. You can install Steam, Handbrake, Blender, pretty much everything is available on the Pop! Shop. So if you're interested in checking out Pop! OS, I'm going to walk you through the install process. Now if you're already using a Linux distribution and you're happy with it, there's really no reason to switch. But I do recommend at least grabbing an extra drive and giving this a test ride. Alright, so before I get started here, I just want to get this out of the way. This is not a dual boot or a triple boot tutorial. If you're interested in running Windows and Pop! OS or Windows and some type of Linux on the same drive, there are tons of tutorials online. I don't deal with it on my channel because there's a chance that they can mess up one of the partitions and then all of their mom's TurboTax information is down the drain. So in this video, I'm going to be installing this to a 240GB SSD that has nothing I want to keep on it. So if you have a hard drive that has information you need to keep, find another drive. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So I already have my USB drive inserted into my PC. This is a simple 8 gigabyte USB 2.0 drive. If you don't have one, I'll leave links to Amazon where you can pick one up. We're going to need to flash Pop! OS to this USB drive and then bring it over to our other PC and install it from the drive. We're going to need to download two things to do this. First up, we need to download Pop! OS. All links will be in the description. We're going to scroll down a little bit. Now there's two downloads here. We can download the long-term support or we can download 18.10. From within each one of these downloads, there's two versions, the Intel and AMD and the Nvidia. If you have an Nvidia GPU, I recommend grabbing the Nvidia version. It has all of the drivers pre-installed so you don't have to install anything later on down the road. If you're running on Intel integrated graphics or AMD, we're gonna download this one. And this is what I'm gonna go with today. Next thing we need to do is download an application that will allow us to flash this image to the USB drive. I recommend Etcher. This will work with Mac, Windows, or Linux. Just click the drop down and choose your version. If you're with Mac, you're gonna download this one, Linux for this one, and Windows, either one of these. I'm on an X64 system. I'm gonna grab the portable version. Once both of these are downloaded, I'm gonna place them on my desktop for easy access. So now that we have Etcher and Pop! OS downloaded, it's time to flash it to the USB drive. We're just going to double click on Etcher. I have the portable version so I don't have to install anything. When Etcher opens, we're going to select image and we're going to navigate to where we have Pop! OS located. I've placed mine on my desktop. We're just going to double click. The middle option will allow us to choose the USB drive we want to flash to. I'm flashing to that USB 2.0 8GB drive. I'm going to click continue and flash. 
This is going to flash Pop! OS to the USB drive and then verify the file system. This could take a little while depending on how fast your USB drive is, so just let it finish up. It'll let you know when it's done. The USB drive is now finished flashing. All we need to do now is remove the drive from this PC and move over to the PC we want to install Pop! OS on. We're going to have to boot from that USB drive, and in order to do this, we're going to have to enter the boot menu when the computer's starting up. Most manufacturers use different hotkeys to enter the boot menu. For instance, all the Dells I own, when I turn the computer on, if I press F12 rapidly on my PC when it's booting up, it'll go to the boot menu and I can select this USB drive. On my Lenovo laptop, it's F8, so your PC may be different. The best way to find out is just do a quick Google search. How do I enter my boot menu? Followed by the manufacturer of your PC. All right, so I'm going to be installing this on a Bean Canyon i7 NUC. I'm just going to plug in my USB drive. I also have my keyboard and mouse plugged in. While the computer's booting up, if I press F10, it'll bring me into the boot menu. From the boot menu, you have to select your USB drive to boot from. This is just a simple Lexar 2.0 8GB drive. It's listed right here. Yours may say something different, like if it's a SanDisk, it'll be listed as a SanDisk USB. I'm just going to go ahead and select the Lexar drive. It happens to show two partitions, but I'm going to select the first one, and it'll start booting from the USB. Pop! OS does have a little countdown timer, but if you want to get into it quicker, just press Enter. Now I'm going to move my camera a little closer to the screen so this is easier to see. It's going to boot into Pop! OS. It's going to walk you through the setup process. Just read what's on screen. It's very self-explanatory. I'm just going to choose English here for everything. So before we install this, we are able to try it. We can run it from the USB drive so we don't have to install to any disk. The first option is try. Second one is fresh install. And then we have a custom install. I do recommend trying it before you install it. This will run all from the USB drive. It's not going to write anything to any disks. So for if some reason you don't like it, you don't have to install it. Now I'm going to go with the fresh install, the second option. This is going to completely wipe my SSD or hard drive, whatever you're using. It's going to totally erase that drive. Now I'm going to select the drive. I only have one installed in this Intel NUC. It's a 240 gigabyte Kingston SSD. I'm going to erase and install. The next option we have is to totally encrypt this install. You're going to have to come up with an encryption key and do not forget that encryption key or you're just going to be wiping this later on down the road. For this install, I'm not going to encrypt the disk, so I'm just going to click Don't Encrypt. Now the operating system is installing to our SSD or hard drive, whatever you're using. Give this some time to finish up. It'll let you know when it's done. It really depends on how fast your hard drive is. Once it's finished, we can click Restart Device and remove the USB drive. We now have Pop! OS installed to our internal drive. So Pop! OS is now installed. We just need to do the initial setup. It's very easy to do. It's going to walk you through it. We'll just click Next. Set up your keyboard layout. I'm going to choose English. Wi-Fi. You can connect from here. I'm just going to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi. We have Wi-Fi set up. Now it's going to ask you if you want to enable location services. I always turn this off on any PC I'm on. You could leave it on if you want to. Time zone. I'm going to go with New York. You can connect to your online accounts here, or you can do this later on. I'm just going to skip this section. Now we need to set up a name and a username. Password. and we're now ready to start using Pop! OS. This operating system is very simple to use and get used to using. Up in the top left hand corner, we have our power icon. We can connect to our Wi-Fi. We can turn Bluetooth on and off. We can check our account here, log out or account settings. We also have system settings here. This will just give you the details on your PC. I got eight gigs of RAM, that Core i7-8559U and the built-in Intel HD graphics. As for using the built-in applications, we can head over to Activities in the top left-hand corner, and we can show applications here. So pre-installed, we have the full Libra Suite, everything you need here, Firefox, Files, Contacts, Settings, Weather, and the Pop Shop. The Pop Shop is great. You can just go through here and find an application you'd like. We can go to Graphics, find something in here like Blender, or we can search for it up top. I'm going to go ahead and install Blender. 
have to put in your password. Now Blender's downloading and installing. We also have updates from this section. Installed. We can update all or choose what we want to update individually. I usually do update all. This is going to update the operating system for us also. Our browser is also located in activities. So we could go to YouTube. And pretty much everything you need in an operating system is built in. We have the terminal here, Pop Shop, Files, Firefox, and all the applications. Go back to the Pop Shop. Let's install Steam. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'm also going to leave some links to System76 website. They have tons of information on this operating system over there. It's really up to you on how you're going to use Pop! OS. It's a very powerful operating system, or it could just be an everyday driver for web browsing and email checking. It really comes down to what you want to do with your Linux distribution. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, and like always, Thanks for watching.